you poured a bunch of earths in is that a picture with earths <laughs> inside the sun they say it can hold 1.3 million of them okay if you just divide the volume of the sun by the volume of the earth you get 1.3 million but no but this calculation is actually wrong. You see, mm -hmm. this figure is just taking the volume of each Earth to fill the sun. They wouldn't just deflate like that. The pressure of the sun is over 300 billion times Earth's atmospheric pressure. The sun's ultra-hot nuclear reactor would crush, melt, and vaporize each Earth in microseconds almost like a liquid. But that doesn't take into account that the Earth is a sphere and that there would be space between each one. Now, if you factor in this packing density... Okay, so we're not talking about the sun and the Earth anymore. You're talking about a hollowed out sphere the size of the sun and you put a bunch of Earth-sized stress balls in it, then sure, except it wouldn't because gravity is still significant and it would still crush them when you're dealing with things that big. Instead of 1.3 million, it would actually only take about 960,000. I get what he's saying just in terms of the space in between spheres, but gravity would dominate.